Hey, good afternoon, Saints man. Small van driver on the CX. It's a bit of week in the life of again. Going to try and cut it short. It was a mega week, but by God, as the title suggests, 2,100 plus miles. Uh, it's just over 2,100 miles last week. Um, a lot of miles. Uh, two trips to Scotland. A couple of trips. It's all north, a lot of north. The M6 was my friend, or whatever, last week. We started on Monday. Uh, I had a trip booked, I had a job booked in. Uh, it was a small job. It was toast to Uxbridge. And then we did a second job quite quickly, very quickly. South Rice slipped to Oxford. And we got to Oxford and it came to a dead end. It was zip, diddly squat. And I was only on 120 quid thinking, well, I'm going to go home here. It's a bad Monday. I got good pence per mile on both jobs, by the way. Really good pence per mile. Uh, and it was going to be a bad Monday. Drove back, coming up to Toaster, and Saints Man style, a job popped up from Toaster to Glasgow, ASAP. In other words, that day they wanted it, not the next day. I quoted on it. I was only six miles from the job. I pulled over. There's the services at Toaster, and I quoted on it, and I quoted quite high. Because I knew I'd have to get a hotel. I weren't coming back. And I got it straight away. And it's a company I worked for before. Nice guys. So Monday was a massive day. Uh, it was a 14-hour day, Monday. I got it to Glasgow. I got a hotel booked. Pretty good hotel, actually. If I can remember the name of it, I'll tell you. But we booked hotel. On the way up, I stopped for a tittle. And I looked for jobs for the next morning from Glasgow. I'd got one box on, by the way. Looking for jobs to come back, and there was a job on there to Sunderland, Glasgow Sunderland, and it was a pickup at half eight, and I put a quote in and got it. So I got a job out of Glasgow before it even got there for the next day, which is important. Scotland at the moment is very cheap. It's going very cheap. I didn't go mega cheap. I didn't go the top rate. I went okay, and I got the job. So we got a job to Sunderland, which is not too bad. It's not very good, but... So, that was Monday, Tuesday, picked the job up, it was one sack with some mail in, simple as, going to somewhere in Sunderland, and we dropped that off, straight run down, the weather was pants Monday and Tuesday, and I couldn't get anything out of Sunderland, and speaking to other guys, North East is notorious for getting out of, so I drove down to weatherby services and i thought you know what i'm just going to trundle down a bit further to woodall services or around there sheffield area and i kept driving and i'd gone past sheffield and far past and a job come up and it was from alfreton to glasgow so instead of going back down south getting home i quoted on that job quite high again and got it yep went back to glasgow same thing same motorway up to glasgow it was to the west side of Glasgow and same, very similar day to, to Monday, 13 hour day, but well, well paid. Very well paid both them days. I got like four days money really in two days, but work. Again, stopped in a pub, uh, I think it was called the, Ab the Arden Inn, that's just a bit of a guess. Very really nice pub, uh, got there, watched Newcastle go through the cup and that's I'd on again. I looked at the feed on the way up. I stopped, and there was a job on there, Glasgow Carlisle, seven thirty pickup. So I quoted on that, and I quoted pretty high, pretty high, high for Glasgow, high for Scotland standards, and I got it for the next day. So I've got a job Wednesday as well. So Scotland was proving okay, but it was to Carlisle, which is rubbish. You know, you're in the middle of an oasis of no work. But, so Tuesday was done, Wednesday onwards, and I went and picked the job up. It was seven boxes of tiles down to Carlisle, dropped them off, no problem, went in Morrison's, had a breakfast. And there was a job, Carlisle, down to Crewe, which I quoted low on. I quoted 65 pence on, because that was going to get me home, and I wanted to get home that night, and I never got it. Never even got a sniff. Uh, and nothing else coming. So I drove back to Lim Services all the way to Manchester and you think, I wanted to go home. The reason I want to go home, I'd got a job booked the following morning. 
from Wellingborough. Uh, and I was going home. I'd already said to the lads, I'm going home. And I went home. Uh, empty from Carlisle. So not good. Not good pence per mile. But I'd had two really long mega days. And it wasn't too bad. It took me, I had a nine hour day all in with a lot of waiting time. Getting back to Northampton. So that was that. That was a crap day. But hey, sometimes you have to live with that. Moving on. The next day, Thursday, I did a job. Uh, for another YouTuber, for Freddie Fletcher, uh, from Wellingborough, Stockport, and Wigan, and that was six boxes, and that was really well played. Cheers, James, for that. Uh, and I managed to get a job from. Well, I got a cancelled job. It was meant to be from Warrington with three drops, and it and it was good money. It was Leicester. Uh, Derby, Birmingham and Bushy in Watford, it was really good money but it was another long day I was going to end up in Bushy and all. I thought, yeah, go on, let's go and when I got there <coughs> I picked up and he said, oh, four drops I went, no, three he said, oh, they've added one apparently and they had, no one had said nothing to me and it was putting Leicester in which I said, okay, took the goods no problem, we'll see and I took the goods and I phoned the shipper up I was around the corner from where the place was I picked up and he went, oh, so I didn't think about that. I said, well, they have. I said, we need to sort out a price because it's a lot, a fair bit more mileage. Got to go from Birmingham to Leicester, then back on the M1 down. It's probably about another 30, 40 miles and time. And I'm wanting to get home. And he went, I'll have to phone you back. And a lady phoned back and said, oh, there's another. Can you go back with the goods? There's another drop on that as well. I went, yeah, I know, to Leicester. She went, oh, no, there's five now. Okay, where's this fifth one going? And it was an ME postcode. I know the postcode. It's Medway. It's, I said, that's Gillingham. That's like Kent. And she went, well, yeah. I said, I can't do it. I have to be back home because I've got another job Friday morning, which I had. So she says, well, I'll have to get another driver. I said, well, you'll have to. But the job I quoted for has now expanded by about 150 miles in about four hours. So unfortunately, I can't do it. So I charged a cancellation fee, which she was going to dispute. But I'd got the goods on board. I, the original job I could do, this job I couldn't. It was way too much. I wouldn't have got home. In, I'd have been home, God knows, midnight, and i got to go. I weren't doing it. Uh, I said, well, there's a £25 cancellation fee, which I normally charge 30 So I'd done eight miles getting there. I'd faffed around now for over an hour. And she just went, oh, I'll have to speak with someone. Can you take the goods in? I said, yeah, as soon as you change the confirmation on the job, uh, to cancel and £25 I'll drop the goods back or somewhere around the corner she hummed and hard for about 30 seconds and put me on hold and come back she says I've done it just return our goods no problem I think if I had to return if I return them goods before she'd have changed the job and put it and I'd logged it off POD'd it and invoiced it I think she may have just put cancel job nothing I'm just guessing anyway I did pick another job up and it was from Earlham. I don't know if I said that right. Earlham. I-R-L-A-M. Earlham, maybe. And it was to Shifnal. And it was picking up from a builder's merchant. And it was 10 bags, 25 kilo bags of some sort of cement that they do um, driveways with. And then there was a couple of other bits. There was a drain and some ch ch drainage channels. So that was all good. So we did that, the Shifnal. And I drove home from there. Oh, I'd had enough. Done. That was Thursday. Again, another really good day. A really good day. With the job up for James, the cancelled job, the job back to shift no good good target day. And James got another job for me Friday, the same job as Thursday. Well in to Stockport, but without the Wigan. Absolutely fine. And that was three boxes. We picked them up, 730, and we managed it um pick another job up as well. Because James says it's a flexi booking, book it in whenever. It's fine as long as you get it there for three o'clock. If you get something else, and the three boxes I got was like that, they went in the front, and it was no problem at all. James already says if you can get some up that, do, that you can still get my job there for two o'clock, not a problem. And I did. I picked a job up from Hinkley to Burnley, uh, three boxes on the way up. So that, and I put a good price on that. So that was my fuel back as well. I, I was done. 
So that was getting me home because I'd got the job coming home, going up. Does that make sense? So he's delivered the Hinkley to Burnley job and we still got James's done by midday. So everyone was happy. No problem. The, per the person allowed me to colo, James, really good. And the both jobs were done sweet. The other job was done direct delivery, no issues. Again, another really good day. And I drove back from, first of all, I didn't drive back. I did James's job and I went into Morrison's, which is about three quarters of a mile down the road, to get something to eat and to have a look at the feed, see if there was anything else. But I was done. I was ready to go home. And another YouTuber popped up, snuck up on me like a ninja. And if you go over to Anvil uh, Logistics channel, Dave, he's even put me on his video as the title. That scare him off, isn't it? That would unsubscribe a few viewers. And he snuck up on me and we had a good chat. So it was great to see you, pal. It really was. Uh, we had a chat. I bid on a couple. I bid on one, I kid you not, from Manchester to Wellingborough. Wellingborough's five, ten miles from where I live. I quoted on it at 60 pence a mile because it was getting me home. And I even put on it, I've quoted this low because it gets me home. And I can do the job, direct delivery at that. And Dave was there. He was there with me. And I put the bid on. I phoned up. They said, oh, we think that may have gone. I don't know. If they, if your bid's all right, they'll phone you back. And I didn't get the job. I didn't get it at 60 pence. Jesus. Hey, someone's doing it cheaper than that. Fair play. Even I was, I thought, I felt guilty about putting a 60p bid on a job. I really did. But hey. Uh, it would have got me home. But I thought, you know what, in the end, in the end, stuff it. I'd rather drive home empty and I'm fine. Because if someone's doing it cheaper than that, they're cutting their own throats. That's all I can say. So, anyway, it was great meeting you, Dave. Anvil Logistics, go to his uh, YouTube channel. And James at Freddie Fletcher, he's got a really good channel as well. So, Freddie Fletcher uh, Limited, two really good shippers there. Uh, uh, two really good couriers and shipper. Uh, I mentioned some other guys, Neil at Neptune in Scotland, Neptune Couriers. He put stuff out there, short videos, informative. Uh, Andy P put some out, and also Toolman Small Van. These guys haven't put one out for a while. Uh, and Tom, uh, TC, legit, he hasn't put one out for a while, but they've got sites and they're informative. So have a look. And that was my week done. I'll drive home from there. And I managed to do 2,100 miles. That's the most I've done for yonks. Yonks. I used to do, when I was really busy with the perfume stuff, I used to do 1,700, 1,800, sometimes 80, 1,900, but over 2,000. I did 57 hour a week, which averages out at nearly 11 and a half hours a day, roughly. And 42 and a half hours driving. And it was all motorway. It was nearly all motorway. Uh, my money was really good. It was £1,319. Plus the VAT puts it at 1582.80. Give my precious VAT money 10% because I'm on flat rate. Makes it 158.28. And that brings it in at 1424.52, which is a mega week for me. But don't think it's all roses, guys, because I work my arse off for that. I work my ass off. It's only driving, but it's tiring. And two nights hotel, you're away from home. You're eating shit food as well a lot of the time. Well, I'll take a food warmer with me to try and eat better. But you do. You end up eating shit food. Greg's is bloody McDonald's. It's very hard to, to keep on the straight and narrow food-wise. But it was a good week. I wouldn't want to work. I couldn't do this every week this hard. I just couldn't. 60. But... It's the money in. So, total per day, it comes out at £284.90. My pence per mile wasn't brilliant because I had a fair bit of dead mileage. My pence per mile was about 70 pence uh, every mile. But you're thinking I'm doing long distance stuff. Um, is it the right way? I don't know. I've got a job Monday. Just want to get this under 15 minutes if we can. I've got a job Monday lined up. I've already got the goods. It's one item. It's the laptops going to Reading. Uh, I'm going to be in Reading for nine o'clock. So that's a good start for Monday. Good money. And we'll see where we go from there. 
Hope everyone's doing all right. Please like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, I'll try and answer them. If you've got anything you want me to ask you about, I can't do the app one because the mobile app's on my phone and it, I only use one phone and that's what I record with. Uh, I could do desktop, but I work off a mobile app. Someone asked me if they could explain the app. There is, Pete the Courier's got one. He, he did, he's done one from the app. If you go on Pete the Courier and put in about an app, the CX app, how it works, he's done a video on there. It's a long while ago, but it's quite good. That's the only one I know who's done it. So whoever asked me for that, that's the app. Uh, that's the uh, video you want to look at. Uh, apart from that, it's all good. It's a Saturday afternoon. I don't know when this is going to come out because I'll download it as soon as. Wife's out shopping with the two daughters and two cousins and they've got Milton Keynes, which is my idea of hell. I'm going to go and get one of the motorbikes and give it a good clean, the silver one, because it's going to be sold. I'm going to sell it next month and the weather's picked up a little bit. Hope you all have a good weekend, rest of your weekend, and I'll speak to you next week. Cheers.